Hello everyone and welcome to today's video. I am Amy with Growing Your Faith and we are getting started with the 2 Corinthians Bible study today. Well, we've technically already gotten started, but we're starting the chapter by chapter part today. And I wanted to just kind of give you an overview today of what's going to happen every time we start a new chapter. So tomorrow we will start chapter two. And so this is what we were going to do to get the chapter started. So I wanted to go ahead and get this out so that you kind of knew what was going on. Um, I will also put out a video tomorrow getting everything started and start digging into the sections but that way you kind of know what you need to do without me because I'm not going to read the whole chapter to you um so for each chapter that we start on the first day you should do the following first you're going to review any of the notes that you took while you were reading the entire chapter or while you were reading the entire book so make sure you have those ready. You're going to read the chapter again, taking notes as you go. You can also read the chapter in a different version and make note of any large differences that you notice um, because it can have something to do with worldviews of the different versions um, or just the way that they're interpreted. Um, make note if it helps you to understand things a little bit better, different things like that. And then you're going to look for themes and you're going to look for section breaks. Um, I will let you know what those section breaks are for the first two chapters. But after the first two chapters, then you're going to need to know how to find those because you want to study section by section, not verse by verse. And you don't want to study the whole chapter at one time. So I'm going to show you how to do that. And I'm not sure if this is going to show up very well, but um, your Bible should do this. OK, so here we have number one and it is in bold. And then we have. Um, number three in bold and they have these two in bold too but i just did one and three and then you know what actually i think um oh no i haven't circled them yet um so then we've got eight twelve fifteen and twenty three so what you want to do is break those down here. So I do that whenever I'm writing it out just by circling it. So one, three, eight, twelve, fifteen, and 23. This gives us our game plan for what verses we are going to study together. Okay, so this goes ahead and tells me that I'm going to need a couple more pages of this and that's totally fine. I'm just going to punch holes and add them in. Um, so we have a page for this section here and then, um, yeah, so, um, I will put in some more pages in here just to kind of help with that because you're definitely going to need more. Um, okay, so that you want to make sure that you know those because that's what we're going to be studying by. And you want to make sure that you have a Bible that has those in it so that you know which sections you need to be studying. Okay, so when we get started tomorrow, we are going to do each section and I have these in level one and level two. And after you watch the video tomorrow, you may, um, you know, kind of decide which one you want to, which camp you want to be in here. But I'm going to go ahead and explain what these are so that I don't have to do that tomorrow. So in level one, it's just less that you're going to do just to kind of get you used to digging into God's word. So we're going to read the section that we're going to study. Then you're going to read the section in another version. 
then you're going to mark the Trinity. And we are going to do a very simple marking system to where we are just highlighting words. So have some colored pencils or some highlighters or something like that. That will work um, for whatever you're using without bleeding. Um, and then maybe grab a purple one so that we can mark the Trinity with purple. Okay. Then you're going to write down what you learn about the Trinity. And then you're going to write out an application and, and a prayer. And there is space for those things on the worksheet here. So here's your scripture passage. Here's where you write down about the Trinity. And then here's your application and your prayer. You can do other things in these boxes. You don't have to fill them in. For level two, we're going to do all of this, but we're going to keep going after that. Um, well, we're, we will, you won't do this until the end, but you're going to look for keywords that are vital to the section and define them with the Bible dictionary. So you can do this online or so like blue letter Bible allows you to do this. Um, or you can have a physical Bible dictionary, but it definitely needs to be a Bible dictionary because we define words differently today than they defined them back then. Does that make sense? And then sometimes things are in a phrase for us, but it's like it was one word for them. Okay. So then we're going to look up any places that are mentioned on a map so that you can kind of see perspectively where everything was. And then we are going to write down what the author is saying. And we're going to write that out in our um, section here. Then we are going to use a commentary if needed for anything that maybe we don't understand, any sections that aren't very self-explanatory. And then can this apply to Christians today? If so, we're going to write out an application and then we're going to end with prayer and thanksgiving. And that will take up our whole worksheet page. Okay. Does that make sense? I hope that makes sense and kind of gives you an idea of what is going to be going on as we go through this tomorrow. We will go through one section tomorrow and then um, continue until we finish the chapter. Sometimes we may have to do two sections depending on how many days we have. Um, but we'll just kind of see how that goes as we go along. So I hope this was helpful to you. If you have any questions, please drop those down in the comments below. And I will get to those as soon as I can. If you want to share anything, you can do that in the group. Um, growing your faith one page at a time. That's where we'll be sharing our work and images and, and people are doing scripture writing right along with us doing this. So you can see their beautiful scripture writing pages if they're not doing the in-depth Bible study. Um, so it's, it's a fun place to just kind of get ideas and inspiration and everything like that. So you are welcome to join us over there if you like. Thanks so much for watching this video. Make sure to like and subscribe so that you can get a notification when the video comes out in the morning. Thank you so much. Have a great day. Bye.